Hello, Jamalov here and welcome back to Let's Play FTL. This is my game free, playing with the Federation Cruiser. Uh, trying to unlock the layout B while trying to unlock some uh, alien ships with the alien crew. Sector 1 went fine, nothing spectacular, uh, just, just crap basically. And um, we are ready to jump into the next sector. Now let's take a look here. Because I have the slug ship unlocked, I don't I don't need to go to a nebula. So uh, I will choose this upper path. Probably steer away from the nebulas. So uh, let's go to the rebel controlled sector and then hope we'll run into some uh, mantis or rock home world on the way. On the other hand, rebel controlled sector isn't exactly where I want to be, but um, that's what I will take. Oh, oh, that's an that's an awful awful pathing for the quest. Um, yeah, I will need to jump through the store where I can't buy anything. Again, a drone. Drone one, that's my fuel. I hope the rebels will want to be there. I will have to waste one, uh, one fuel on the jump. A rebel ship is patrolling the beacon and immediately turns to engage. As your crew scramble to battle readiness, sensors detect a short range teleporter signal. An intruder is on board. Flushed and panicky, Rebel soldier has teleported aboard. The Rebel, who appeared unarmed, repeatedly declares his peaceful intentions. It seems the Rebel life has lost its charm. Accept his proposal and prepare to fight the Rebel ship. This, uh, I assume this can be a traitor, but uh, I will accept it, take the risk. Yeah, there, there it goes. The dishonorable Rebel has deceived you. He damages your ship and steals your flight data before trans teleporting away. The fleet will be able to track you with ease. If they can't kill you now, that is. Well, that's the worst possible start. Um, they have a drone and a couple of uh, laser and a beam. Nothing too hard for me. Like, so let's, let's see how this how these weapons work. Yeah, okay, it's not it's not good. Too, too many weapons. Too many weapons. Let's make sure they don't leave. Interestingly, as soon as I leave the engines alone, we dodge a couple of shots. Yeah, and it's very smart to repair with, uh, repair with the mantis. Let's go finish the job with the rock. Take the mantis out so the rock gets the experience. You're not going anywhere, you know? Because I'm shooting you. No. No accepto. Twenty two. Yeah, <laughs> I, th I think I will need to be line for the exit. Oh, I don't know if they just get a bump for this one jump, or will it be this whole sector? Either way, this uh, this will be difficult. This must be one of the rebels' unmanned scout ships. Looks like there's no way around the fight. And immediately they start. Ah, oh, this will be a tough one. They have two shields. Two shields and. Um, 
I'd have to somehow disable their engine before they jump away. Yeah, it's it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. This is not good. Shoot. Oh. Yeah, they will, they will still they will still jump away as soon as they get the chance. <laughs> oh wow, that was a uh, I had absolutely no chance there. I think I can I think I can forget any kind of uh, achievement run here unless I get very lucky with the ship that I can actually beat with just the artillery beam, but probably not going to Oh yes. Put some power to the engine please. That will help with uh, help with jumping away. Oh shoot. Rebel controlled sector and the rebels are jumping so fast. Oh man. There is a small planet nearby with scattered settlements. A small rebel fleet is in orbit with many ships terrifying back and forth. Ferrying back and forth. It must be a more recently liberated planet. Indeed. Ah, they are slowing down. Good. Um, it was just that one jump. Actually two jumps. Still not good, but uh, I think I will try to get some scrap before going to the store. The AI of a nearby small rebel scout immediately identified you as a threat and engages. Now they are not jumping away yet. Might. Um, here is a fight I could in theory win with just the artillery beam. Because there's, there's, there will always be one shield up. It's too bad that artillery beam is... Um, so much based on luck where where it will hit i hope it hits the engines <laughs> nice although of course they will uh, oh well yeah master master of patience that's me Just when I said that I haven't run into a ship, ship that I uh, would have been able to 
beat like this. Oh, their engines are repaired. Damn it. Please hit the engines again. Oh, hit the pilot. That's the other option. That works. That was a good hit. That was a very good hit. Way to go, artillery beam. Come on, achievement. At least I have t time to drink coffee here. After this I uh, only have to wait until sector 5 before I upgrade to weapon systems. Oh, they are up again. Hit it fast, hit it fast. Don't jump away, don't jump away now. Yes! Nice, Master of Patience. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Oh, that was nice. That was very nice. And I have the store. Store to go to. At least I can repair my ship, if nothing else. Generic advertisement from a nearby public shipyard. They are willing to work on any ship, not only those rebel ones. Hmm, now here's an option to get another Mantis crew member. Kind of a prepare on a strategy of getting a crew teleporter. Risking, risking and not fixing the ship. Yes, that's what I'll do. Now I have two man Mantises. Two mantises and uh, all I need is teleporter and then more mantises. Right. Mm. Okay, there is no... There is no jump from these ones to exit, so I need to go here. Then see if I have time to visit this one or not. Probably not. Then, so probably this one and then this one. And now that I didn't, now that I didn't prepare, uh, now I, now that I didn't repair the ship, uh, I will probably be blown to pieces. Uh, let's attempt to download. If I able to do that, nice. I haven't received any blue options with the crew members. Alright, we got uh, data. Okay, there will be a ship here. But no asteroid fields or suns or anything. A rebel autonomous scout is exploring this beacon. You attempt to hide behind a nearby moon, but the ship finds you and begins its assault. It has two lasers. I think that will fire once. I'm done with achievement, so I can just fire their their weapon system. And um, yeah, that'll be it. I will think I will take one hit here. Well, actually, I won't because you fired like that. So that's good. Interesting ship with just a just a piloting system, engine, and weapons. One so exit it will be. You arrived at the long range beacon. Anything here? A fuel shop again. Okay. Just like last time, always a pit stop at the end. 
Right, that ends the second video of Game 3, and uh, in the next video I'll jump into the Sector 3, and uh, I'll see you then. Take care, bye bye.